Hello, welcome back to the next part in this tutorial. In this tutorial series, we will be creating a um, dynamic. We'll be creating a um, shopping cart, and in this tutorial, we'll be creating a dynamic um, population of the table for it to show up our content. So, um, delete everything which I just placed underneath the test template features. So, if your code looked exactly like mine did then it should be line 10 and below. Just delete, uh, all you should have left is a table open and close and inside that you should have um, table rows and table headers which is the four table headers so your page should look like this once refreshed. If it doesn't look like this then there's something you've not done right and just pause the video now and copy this code. Just delete all your code in that page and copy this code. Remember this is products.php Right, okay, now you're back. We can delete that line as well, that's not necessary. Um, and this is where we start doing PHP code. So, um, open your PHP and close your PHP brackets. Create one line which is SQL equals select all from oh, sorry, order Order by um, order by name ascending. I'm just going to go into this and check that that's how I've done it. Structure products browse oh. name with no capital. Order by name, and then on this line we're going to do a query, which is query equals now, like before, you could put or die my squirrel error here, but again, as soon as you've fixed any problems, you just need to delete the code and um, delete that bit. So I'm going to put it in here just for testing reasons. Okay, save that and just go over here, check if we've got no errors, and that's everything's fine. I just saw a little change in my page, that's just because I changed that N to a capital there. Um, from there, you need to go down to the next line, and this is where we start doing a loop. So, row equals MySQL fetch associate array, which is the query. And we need to close that off twice, remember, if you do it once and something's gone wrong. Oops. And then we're going to close PHP there while we create the TR table. So this is the complicated bit now because this is where so many things could go wrong. Open PHP again. Echo row name close that line off. Now what that'll do is it opens up the while loop with a, and sets a variable of row equal to an array of everything inside our database which we've selected from here and um, it will select the name so this will get the row name and print it out or echo it to the screen so you'll see the name then we've got next line um, which is for the description, so php echo row description. Um, let's go across over here, check where it is description. Yep. And then we've got the third one, which is the price. Now you may notice I put the dollar sign before the PHP code. We could do it this way, which is 
and concatenate a dollar sign to the actual PHP code, but it's easier for us to view it if we don't have that there. So we have the dollar sign before it, because if you remember, we set this database up to be a decimal, with uh, which can have up to six before and two behind. So that means that it won't be able to save a, um, a dollar sign or a pound sign or whichever currency you have into it. Um, and then finally we've got the action. This is the one which is going to take quite a lot of code. So, anchor href index.php question mark page equals products and action equals add and id equals equals php echo row id let's just check I spell that right id underscore products underscore products Um, then add to cart. Um, 